Okay, so good afternoon, everyone, uh, or good morning, depending on where you are. Happy to be here. So I'm going to be walking you through the challenge for the week. Um, we have quite a small group here with us uh, today. I think it's about half the team. Uh, half of us are the team and half of us are trainees. Um, nevertheless, happy to have you here. So uh, what are we going to be doing this week and week two of UTJ is something a little bit, um, and maybe we can actually, I'm just going to open this up right now and post it in the Slack group so people can follow along. And I think we'll be updating the uh, access in just a moment. Uh, let me just do that. Have a look at the UTJ week two link. <clears throat> Okay, so everyone can follow along. Um, so basically this week, last week, we covered a couple of different things. We covered data analysis, we covered um, using Google Sheets, and we covered using generative AI for report writing. Now the feedback that we got from the group overall was that the data set was significant. It was quite large. There was a lot of data that was happening there. Um, Google Sheets uh, seemed to be fine. I think the actual analysis and comparison of different information um, presented challenges for some people. And so for this week, what we wanted to do was to uh, focus on a use case that uh, will be useful for many of you um, and to cover some fundamentals of project management as we go. So the three uh, and maybe the four key expected outcomes that we have for the week, and then we're going to go through the challenge, I wanted to start with where are we going to finish. One is by the end of the week, um, we want you to gain experience in using LLMs for gathering targeted information instead of a web search. And I started a bit of a conversation in uh, the Slack group this morning about what are the different LLMs that people are using. And I heard some people say that we're using something, people are using ChatGPT, some people have been using Google Gemini. But what we're going to be seeing this week is that they're not necessarily identical. Um, and some people had already mentioned that you know, the LLMs are good for building something and uh, asking questions. But if you want up-to-date information and you want uh, search, then the, there are new LLM or almost co-pilot capabilities that allow you to gather the information. We also want to distinguish from uh, a tool like Google Search or Bing Search or whatever tool it is that you like to use. There's a difference because while you can get all of the information that you want to get, um, this will help and the scenario that we've presented um, allows you to uh, see the difference in speed and also the difference in formatting. So we're gonna be using LLMs to gather information instead of web search, and so that's use case. That's outcome number one. The second is we're going to be looking at key financial information of, about a company, and we're going to be using the Magic 7 uh, technology companies. Um, you guys have heard of all of these companies. These The Magic 7 have replaced the FANG companies, and one of the reasons why the FANG companies have been replaced is that um, there was actually an in-between. I don't know if anyone's been following this. There were the FANGs, and then there were the MAMAs, and now there's the Magic 7. And I think the biggest difference between the Mamas and the Magic 7s uh, is a company that most of you have heard about, I hope, or you're definitely using uh, their technology is NVIDIA. And so it's difficult, I think, to make an acronym with NVIDIA. So the Mama changed into um, the Magic 7 company. So we're going to be looking at key financial information um, so that you can get a little bit more familiar with what are some of the metrics that people use to analyze uh, financial performance. Of course, these numbers that we're going to be looking at are huge. Uh, they're in the millions and billions, and in some cases, trillions of dollars. But the foundations and the fundamentals are not that different between the work that you're going to be doing uh, as a project manager um, or looking at these large companies. And then, of course, gaining experience in prompting LLMs. Um, so that's, that's an important outcome. And we actually want you to not only be able to use LLMs or to prompt the LLMs, we want you to develop a brief to teach other people or to teach your colleagues how LLMs can be used um, and how they can supplement Google search. And the fourth, and this one's an optional one, we're looking forward to this on Friday, this coming Friday. There are many different LLMs that are out there. There's Microsoft has one, uh, OpenAI has one, Meta has one, Google has one, and there's another platform called Grok, which is also running up. There's lots of other ones as well. So on Friday, we're going to be running um, what we're calling the LLM uh, Olympics. And we're going to break people up into different groups. And we're going to have a little bit of fun and get to know what are some of the differences and how do they perform in different ways, um, where are some strong, where are some weak. We're just going to break you up into different teams and uh, just play around with prompting different LLMs. Any questions around expected outcomes? So we want these sessions to be interactive. 
uh, I'm happy to talk. I like talking, but um, we can also have questions. You guys can write questions in the chat box, um, or you can just put your hand up and ask a question. So those are the outcomes. Just to summarize, um, how to use LLMs to gather information, supplementing a web search, looking at key financial information about a company, gaining experience in prompting LLMs, and then understanding some of the differences between competing LLMs. So if we take a step uh, back, or we take a step forward, in three months, why do we want you to be able to do this? And how do we think this is going to improve your employability? So one is, when you're in a time-critical situation, or you want to gather information that's already pre-formatted, a tool like Google Search will allow you to get information, but you may have to think about it yourself or format it yourself. The LLMs add a layer on top of that and allow you to ask a question, and the system will be processing or formatting some of that information for you. So, for example, instead, if you want to figure out what the visa requirements are to enter a country, you can Google search that and then go down the list and look for your country in that list and figure out what the requirements are. A tool like an LLM will do that for you, and you can just say, what's the requirement for me as a Canadian to enter a country like Ethiopia, where I am right now? And it'll give me that answer versus having to search for Canadian embassy in Addis Ababa and then go to the visa page and get the information. We believe the information should be the same. Um, but it's a way to accelerate that. So that's a tool, it's an additional tool which should be very useful for your career in many different ways. Um, I want to go to the last one, um, learning about the differences between the technologies that, and these are changing, uh, if not every day, then every week, but competing technologies from tools like ChatGPT, uh, Microsoft Copilot, Google Gemini, um, the Llama models, the older Llama models from Google, there's some of the newer models from Mistral, um, Facebook now has their models as well, the Lambda models. Knowing which, uh, which LLMs provide good information in the right way, for which case, will also help you be able to get the right information back in a faster way. Um, so that's the second thing that will be useful. And the third is understanding what some of these terms mean. What is the difference between revenue, market cap, R&D spend, profit? Well, how are these indicators useful? I'm sure many of you have heard about these. Some of you may be experts in these. Our goal is not to make you an expert, but our goal is that to give you some information about uh, what these metrics mean and how they compare. And using companies that most or each of us know, um, we're going to be comparing uh, those metrics. So that's where we want to get you by the end of the week. So we're gonna, we've broken the challenge down into three phases. Um, so the first phase is uh, there's a scenario that's provided here. Basically, we want to show you that in an hour, in a very focused hour, you can get all of this work done. Now, in practice, you have a week to do it. But in this scenario, um, you want to make an investment recommendation to your boss's sister um, on which company to invest into, and you have an hour to do it. So of course, if you had an unlimited amount of time, you could spend a lot of time doing this research. But we want you to get excellent, relevant, high-quality information um, together in one hour, and that's why we're going to be using the LLMs. The second is we want you to put that into, um, so you're going to pick one of the magnets. You're going to pick uh, your recommendation has to be one of the magnific magnificent seven stocks. We're going to be looking at these key financial indicators to help you make your recommendation. We're going to be looking at the last five years. Um, your output really should just be a one-page report. Um, and we're going to be using LLMs to speed up your search analysis and the reporting. So that's kind of phase one. So gathering the information um, on these seven different financial indicators for each of the seven companies um, and then making a recommendation, that's phase one of the project. Phase two of the project is putting together a brief for your colleagues on how LLM can be used for search. And so that's going to be in phase two. And then phase three, which is an optional or a bonus phase, I'm actually going to change this to optional, it's not really a bonus is the LLM Olympics. So where we want to get to know and become familiar with, with some of the advantages and disadvantages of a tool like uh, ChatGPT or Microsoft Copilot or Google Gemini, where is each one uh, stronger and where is each one weaker? Yeah, does that, does that work, guys? Any questions? Any questions? Anyone here? Can I get a proof of life? Can somebody put their thumbs up? Okay, so Sven is here. At least one person is listening. Okay, wonderful. Okay, so basically we have a uh, 
four different tasks. So the first one is you're going to be gathering key financial indicators using LLM search. And so this has been laid out very quickly. We're uh, very quick, quickly and we believe very clearly. We're going to be using the tool Microsoft Copilot. And Microsoft Copilot is not exactly ChatGPT. It's integrating um, an LLM together with a web search. And what that allows you to do, and the link is provided, what that allows you to do is to get the uh, most up-to-date, most relevant information on, and these are the key indicators that we're looking for. Cash on hand, gross revenue, market cap, R&D spend, net profit, and return on equity. And the seven different company names are available. You can just search uh, the Magnificent Seven, and you're gonna be putting that into a Google Sheet, which uh, we're gonna share with you in a couple of minutes. As a comparison, what we would really recommend is that you compare, and this we've provided you with a prompt, 10K, which is the form name that um, US registered companies have to file once a year with the uh, US government, Securities and Exchange Commission. Um, so file 10K company name and year, and you'll get all of the same information. But uh, recognizing the difference that uh, it takes in terms of time of actually gathering that information and getting it in something which is nicely formatted will help you to see the advantage of this. So why is this useful? Uh, we're here to improve your employability, and we think that getting experience with this tool and kind of familiarity with how you can use LLMs to format the information for you, to process the information for you, to get it faster and more uh, accurately is important. Task number two is to look at your key financial indicators, and we want you to make a recommendation. And so this is, we're not looking for really, really super in-depth recommendations, but we would like you to pick three of the indicators to make a graph for each of those indicators from all seven companies. And then on the basis of the information which you have there, we want you to make a recommendation on which company is most likely to perform well in 2024. And put together um, a one paragraph recommendation using an LLM uh, on why, the, which company do you recommend? Um, which companies did you compare it to? In which way do you think that your recommended company outperformed the competing company? And then you can also talk about the stock price growth of that company in that period. So we're looking for something really simple, uh, a one-page recommendation with screenshots of the three graphs. Yeah, and that goes into a one-page report. So this is the one-page report. And then task number four is we want you to put together, this is kind of phase two of the project, we want you to put together a brief for your colleagues on how to use LLM for search. So this whole idea, and the world is changing very quickly, this is one of the reasons why we're doing this training, if you don't know how to use LLMs effectively, um, you're going to be falling behind. And so what we believe is that by teaching somebody um, how to use something, it's one of the best ways to really test what it is that you know yourself. So we'd like you to put together a uh, about two pages, a brief, um, graphics, diagrams, informal language, something that you could actually in real life print out or share a link with a colleague. could be a video, could be a Notion page. You can use a uh, format that you want to use. Um, but something that people will actually use in real life. A video we think would be ideal because you can actually walk them through this. Um, we have some recommended prompts here, um, how it can re replace or supplement Googling, links to an LLM of your choice, how to sign up, example prompts, create a Loom video of 60, 90 seconds. We're going to be pretty, uh, if people want to uh, change the format and do something different, no problem. We've provided a recommended format here. And then task five, which is happening on Friday, is taking part in the LLM, LLM Olympics. And we're going to be providing more information on that um, later on this week. So that's it. That's what we're looking for, guys. By the end of this week, you're going to be using LLM through Google Search. We're going to be collecting information on the magnificent seven companies, um, which all those companies are all ones that you've heard about, collecting, uh, looking at seven key financial indicators, making a recommendation on which company do you think is going to do best in terms of stock price. Writing that up in a brief, you're going to be preparing a brief for one of your colleagues. And those of you who have time on Friday at, I believe, uh, let me actually just check the schedule. What time is the sketch? What time are the LLM Olympics? Da, 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 da. The LLM Olympics are taking place on Friday at, uh, Ta, 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 ta. Sorry, let me just bring this up. It's going to be happening at uh, 9 a.m. UTC, so right after the stand-up. <clears throat> so that's it, guys. That's that's what's happening this week. Um, in terms of comparing to what we had before, we think that this should be 
easier to jump into. We think it's going to be uh, pretty hands-on and useful. Um, and we're looking forward to you guys putting this together. Any questions? I'm sure there's questions. If there's no questions, then um, yeah, either we were too clear or too unclear. I'm not sure exactly. Not sure exactly what that means. Anyone have a question? No? Okay, so then we can wrap up if there are no questions, guys. Any feedback? Maybe that's a different way to look at it. Uh, any feedback on the challenge? Anyone looking forward to uh, learning about uh, searching using LLMs, comparing different LLMs, working with key financial in information? Maybe I can just see a reaction, thumbs up, thumbs down. Gutera, go ahead. Uh, hello. I've been trying to. Uh, I've been trying in to, to to get the full uh, meaning of LLM. Large language model. Okay. Okay. Thank you. So LLM is a uh, it's a superset of things like ChatGPT and Google Gemini, and it used to be called Bard. Um, Facebook has Llama, or Meta has Llama. So LLM, sorry, we should have been more clear on that. It's a large language model, and I'm happy that you asked that question. Now, one of the questions is, and this is where, because the field is changing so quickly, one of the questions is, is it appropriate to call it, what's a more, more appropriate terminology? Is it a GPT, or is it an LLM? And one of the questions that's uh, happening right now, or the discussions, is whether a GPT is an open AI approach, um, and therefore, if Google puts something out, can we really call that a GPT? So that's why we defaulted uh, to calling it Melba. Any other questions? Yeah, so you're asking for the name of the company. Uh, I'm going to show you right here. So here are the Magnificent Seven Stocks. I'm going to click through here just to show you. The Magnificent Seven Stocks are here, so a larger group called the Magnificent Seven adds NVIDIA and Tesla to the uh, Big Five. So the Big Five includes, so the Big Five is Google, Amazon, Meta, which is now uh, Facebook, Apple, and Microsoft. This is actually incorrect in a way because this should be Alphabet, but we have uh, Google, Amazon, Meta, Apple, Microsoft, NVIDIA, and Tesla. So those are the seven companies that we want to be, um, those are the names of the seven companies. Any other questions? No? OK. Then uh, you guys know what you need to do. We have a tutorial schedule that's been published. Um, if you guys have any questions, we can use the week two channel. Um, yeah, looking forward to working with everyone on this week. On OK, uh, there's a question on data set overview. Yeah. That's right. You'll be gathering your own data using LLMs. Yeah. So Diana, what? So for both, uh, I don't know if you, is. So is your name really Hello, Abdulaziz? Is your name Hello? I don't know if that's your first name. I'm going to assume it is. Uh, so he for Hello and Diana, um, we've laid out the tasks clearly here. What you need to do is to use uh, the Microsoft Edge browser and log into Copilot. And yeah, log into the Edge browser, use the Copilot, and you're going to, there's an LLM which is over there. Uh, and we want you to get experience with actually gathering information. So this is, a, this is our approach, guys. We're not here to just say, we're not going to be answering multiple choice questions on name the biggest LLMs or a theory of how you're going to be doing it, but we want you to actually do it. And so log, go to my, open up Microsoft Edge, go to the Copilot, log in with a Microsoft account if you need to. We've given you uh, all of the prompts that you need to run. We've given you a template Google Sheet to collect the information. So that's what you need to do. So that's how you're going to be gathering data.
So if you know yet, yeah, we'll be having a tutorial on, um, we can see here in the tutorial schedule, um, introduction to LLMs. We have a tutorial happening this afternoon on how to, be, how to use LLMs. Um, but for, honestly speaking, it's pretty, uh, I mean, I, it's pretty straightforward. You're going to be able to figure out how to do it given the information, but we will be having a tutorial session. And as always, if you have a question, you can uh, write in the All Week 2 group and we'll be answering your questions. Um, so Diane, so we're supposed to use LLMs to write the bulk of this, to do the search? Yes, especially for gathering information. And there's really not much report writing happening this week. Of course, you're free to use uh, a LLM to write the report. So if to Sira, should we create the scope of the business? I don't understand your question. Could you uh, make your question a little bit more clear? Um, I'm not sure what you mean by scope of the business. I'm not sure where, where you've seen that uh, information. Leah asks, are we limited to co-pilot? Um, you're not limited to co-pilot. Um, feel free to use any one that you want. Yeah, if you want to use a different one, feel free. Um, I'd be curious to see what happens once people use ChatGPT, because you'll find, and we've designed the challenge in such a way, um, that ChatGPT won't work, uh, not for all of the information. So Leah, go ahead and look at ChatGPT. Try and use ChatGPT there and uh, give the get a view of what it tells you. Do you want to use one of the others? Um, go ahead. But you'll see a difference in a, uh, a tool like ChatGPT and a co-pilot tool, because the co-pilot uh, integrates search with, um, it integrates search with one of these large language models. And so there's a difference there between the two. Yeah, and so as Diane said, there are other examples like Google Gemini or ChatGPT. But Diana, as I said, ChatGPT is not going to be working for you in this case. And you can have a search, and it'll give you some information, but it's not going to give you all the information. Any other questions, guys? OK, so then I'm going to stop the recording. And looking forward to seeing everyone on Slack and looking forward to having a very good week ahead. Stop the recording.